hello guys and welcome to another video so this is q4 os let's first configure the language okay trinity desktop initializing and we are in we are in this is the trinity desktop and this is q4 os oh, they have a starting tone which i'm sure you can disable if you don't like all right so here is the welcome screen welcome to q4 os a fast powerful desktop operating system focused on long-term stability reliability and classic style user interface q4 os has a very basic clean desktop environment with the minimal software kit so let's start with the run the desktop profiler let's just leave this one then we go to install applications this one should bring up the software center. IPT database has not been updated. I'm sure with internet connection, this one will update. So let's leave this one for now. We shall look at it later. Then we have installed proprietary codecs. The, these are the codecs that are required to use a media player like VLC. Then we have screen scaling. Uh, we don't need to scale this one. No, we don't need scaling. Let's just cancel this one. And then uh, I'll set auto login not necessary then start switch start menu so this is the start menu it looks like this let's try a different one like kick off and apply see how this one looks like okay uh let's try a different one uh, the classic and apply uh, very minimalistic and uh, this one looks much better I think I would prefer this one over the rest. Let's switch back to Bourbon and leave it. Apply and OK. And then we go to under more options, we have hardware info. This one should display information about your system, the desktop or the distro name, version 5.4.1, codename Aquarius. It's based on Debian, the kernel is 6.1.0. Then your CPU, RAM, hard disk graphics and so forth uh, this is not important for me right now we also have another option for desktop effects we have online documents you can support q4os via patreon you can also donate to q4os now let's get back to the desktop we got a few icons over here can we configure the desktop yes we can configure the screen saver and displays are talking about displays let's change the resolution this one is very low my screen has a resolution of 1440 by 900 and frequency is 60 hertz and we apply then under backgrounds we can change the desktop background let's try if, see if we can find something better and then how about these pyramids let's apply this one looks much better much much better so here we have my documents about this one about the conqueror it's version 14.1.1 using trinity 14 nothing much to say there then we have my computer we have my networks and then trash then we have the web browser yeah well it's it's a web browser but it doesn't look that great another browser like firefox or chromium would be much better but if you still want to go with the default one here it is it's based on conqueror still right here we have the installer and welcome to the q4 aquarius installer they have their own installer but i bet it looks more like calamari's installer just look at it and you see the resemblance if you want to install you can proceed next set your location you know proceed set the keyboard layout go with the default but i'm not installing so i'm going to cancel all this now bottom here we have the taskbar so we have the start button right there it's starting to look more like windows so here we have my documents my computer my network install packages this one should launch the software store where you could download most of the apps that you need we have the install application the synaptic packages and desktop profiler we have the synaptic package you can install it and then you can install apps from here uh, for the apps we have Synaptic, Chrome, Chromium, Mozilla, LibreOffice, VLC, Gparted, NVIDIA, Dri Nvidia Drivers, VirtualBox, even Blueman. So you can easily install those one once you have our internet connection. Control Panel. I haven't heard of this name since I left Windows. Let's check it out. 
now as part of the control panel we have appearance desktop internet and network peripherals regions and accessibility security sound and media administrator td components we have wallpapers colors fonts icons look switcher screen saver screen splash style theme manager so you can change your themes and wallpapers from here and then let's go a little bit back and the desktop and we have networks peripherals then we have you find files this one i mean it's for searching files within your system so this is a tde menu or i'm calling the start button all right then you can run commands let's get to the applications and under application you have programs documents settings let's go to programs we have accessories how to start games let's check uh, there are no games how to start you can see the apps that are supposed to auto start over there and then accessories accessories we have development internet office system and utilities let's check under development we have uh, the regular expression editor and then we have internet internet we have the web conqueror and office we have a video viewer under settings we have the audio cd C cdd b retriever control panel digital camera let's go to system uh, inside system we have a device monitor at the process viewer you can check your running processes over here and um, how much memory is being used is around 407 out of 3 gb and then we have uh, the q4s installer and we also have the sound mixer the terminal program and the file manager let's go to performance monitor so you can see the cpu usage so here's my cpu load and the physical memory usage all right let's check about the ks guard Let's go to the terminal check its version version 1.6.6 uh, using trinity 40 well, let's see if we can run neofetch uh, neofetch is not installed uh, it would have been great to see what it displays for this one but if you have internet connection you can install it and see uh, the command should be sudo apt install neofetch so or something like that under accessories uh, we have utilities yeah utilities we have the desktop the editors peripherals and imager what is the imager i choose os oh this one is for making bootable images uh, from isos okay all right and then on the far right we have uh, the mounted disk drive over there and then we have the clipper tool connections and volume uh, battery storage devices and then the calendar that's basically a q4s for you that's q4s version 5.4 point something what do you think of it do you like it do you think you can install it uh, personally i don't like the way the graphics are displaying it doesn't look that great all these edges look a bit not that appealing uh, i need something that's you know more modern so yeah that's it uh, on the desktop if you right click you can create folders and files open the terminal change the icons refresh the desktop configure desktop switch user account okay log out how about we log out there's no password so by default there's no password you'll have to create uh, one for yourself after installation if you like the video make sure to give it a thumbs up uh, subscribe to the channel or at least watch one of the videos from the beginning to the end and thank you guys for watching see you on the next one